Hello everyone, we will continue the topic conversion routine and in the previous videos we understood what is a conversion routine then we took the program and in that program we saw the importance of conversion routine. Now what I will do, I will now create a module pool program because in that we will use, we will design the elements through screen painter and we will see the importance of conversion routine there also. And yes, it is extremely important and because of that, so many times we will not get the expected result. Now, what I will do, I will create a module pool program now. Same to same requirement. Now we will create a module pool program. I will give some name to the program. Suppose I will say ZMP module pool for sales order. Same to same requirement, no difference. I will go for create. I will give some title to the program. Sales order display. Now I will choose the type as module pool program. I will save it as a local object. We all know in module pool program, the first keyword is program. In case of executable program, the first keyword is report. I will activate this module pool program. I will click on to display object list. It will navigate me to SCAT transaction code. Now I will right click on the program and create a screen. I will give the screen number. Suppose I am saying 100. I will give some short description to the screen. Suppose sales order screen. I will save. Now I will click on to layout button. We all know screen painter will open and we will design the layout through screen paint. Firstly, I will take a text field because I will take a, or I will design a label for the sales order number. And you all know whenever you want to go for label, you need to go for text field. I will give some name to the label. Suppose I am saying sales underscore LBL. I will give that text sales order number. I will save it parallelly. Now I will take a now here I will pass the value of sales order number. So you all know whenever you want to give the values. Yes, you have to take input output field. So I took input output field. Now here our topic will play a vital role. Here we will give the value of sales order number. So here we can give any variable name. It is totally, totally your wish. Now there are so many ways people are giving the variable names. Sometimes people will give the variable name like table name hyphen column name. Sometimes people will give the variable name LV underscore some meaningful name and that will play a vital role here. Vital role. Suppose first time, suppose I am giving the variable name as table name hyphen column name. You can give any name. It is totally your wish. Suppose I gave table name hyphen column name. I'm pressing enter. Now system will give me the pop-up. 
do you want to bind it to a BAP dictionary or data dictionary? Yes, I want to bind. What is the meaning of this pop-up? It means this particular value, whatever we will pass, it will take all the characteristics or properties what is there in this table for this particular column. Suppose if I will go to VBAK table. In VBAK table, what is the column name? VBELN. If I will go to VBELN, this VBELN has a data element. Data element has a domain and domain has a conversion routine. So all, all properties applicable here now because I binded it to data dictionary. We gave the directly name as what table name hyphen column name and we told SAP just take everything from a back dictionary. So it took everything. If I will double click and show you, you will understand it took each and everything. If I will go to program, if I will go for dictionary, you can see the conversion routine alpha is coming automatically. It is in the domain, but my screen field took each and everything because I gave table name hyphen column name each and everything. Now, I will take a button now. This is important. So how you are giving, it will decide. Now I will take a button. Suppose my name of the button is submit underscore BTN. I will give some text to the button. Suppose submit. Now we all know every button has a function code. So I will double click and provide the function code. Suppose function code is display. I will save. Now I will take few output fields also. You all know you need to click on to dictionary slash program fields. Table name VBAK. I will go for get from dictionary. I will took ER dat, ER ZDT, ER now. Suppose I will go for these three columns. Now, if I will double click and show you, have you seen what is the name of this column? Table name hyphen column name. If I will double click, table name hyphen column name. If I will double click, table name hyphen column name. You can change. It is totally, totally your wish. And you can see checkbox is ticked from dictionary. It took everything from the dictionary. It took everything from the dictionary. If I come to first field also, it took everything from the dictionary, from the dictionary. Now these three are our output fields. So I will simply go to program and remove input. I will remove input and I will remove input. I will save. I will close the screen painter and I will activate the program. Now I will simply, simply declare the internal table and work areas. I will not write it again. I'll simply copy paste from the previous program. This is our structure, internal table and work area. So I copied and paste. Now I will go to screens. You all know whenever you will click on to submit button, the 100 screen PAI will call. So I will uncomment this module. I will double click. 
Yes, I want to create this module. I will go for yes. Now I will simply copy paste the query also. I will not write again. This is our query. Anyways, we took same to same columns. Now here, rather than P underscore VB ELN, what is the name of your input field in the layout? Table name hyphen column name. You can check in the layout itself. You can double click and check. What the name you gave? Table name hyphen column. So I took same to same thing. Now we all know the input is sales order number. And at a time, we are giving how many sales order number? One sales order number. So always, always one record will come into this internal table because VBELN is the primary key of the table. And at a time, we are passing only one VBELN. So always one record will come into this internal table. So rather than loop, I can go for read table. So I will write read table, internal table, into work area, index 1. Because we will always read the record which is at index 1. We all know after read table, we need to check for size sub RC condition. And now from the internal table, values gone to work area. Now from the work area, we will bind with those three output fields. If I will go to the screen, if I will go to layout, what is the name of first output field? Table name hyphen column name. Table name hyphen column name. Table name hyphen column name. So I will pass this. So I will write VBAK ER tag is equal to work area ER tag. ERZDT ER now. So I did control D. And now I will change the name. ER dat ER Z E T E R now. I will save. Now I will get a syntax error. System is saying. VBAK, VBELN, ER DAT, ERZDT, ER NUM is unknown. So I will simply, simply go to the top of the program and I will write tables VBAK. I imported the table. No syntax error and everything now I will activate. Now, every module pool program requires a transaction code. So I will create a transaction. Create transaction. I will give some name to the transaction code. Suppose I will say ZMP underscore sales. I have to take first radio button only. Because this is dialog program. Module pool program is also called as dialog program. I'll pass the program name. I will choose the screen number. Now I will select these three checkboxes and I will save. I will save it as a local object and that transaction code is ready. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we are now 
now we want to see the behavior of conversion routine in module pool program because we will design the layout through screen painter. So what the scenario we took, yes, when we took the input, when we took the input, we referred table name hyphen column name. So it took each and every property of that particular data dictionary. In that data dictionary, whatever the properties of VBAK, VB, ELN column is there, it referred each and everything. We all know that VB ELN has a data element, data element has a domain. So in our screen painter, that input field took each and everything. In the next video, we will see and we will check in the debugging mode. We will get a expected result and then we will go for next combination. Rather than table name hyphen column name, we will give LV underscore some name and then we will see how, how conversion routine will behave at that time. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.